I'm the Putz. And this is the hardcore giant, Ron Nimi. And of course, this is our producer, The Foreign Object. Join us Saturdays at 11 on Sports Radio 1010 The Team. We're the home of the Bucks, the Yankees, and now IPW Hardcore Professional Wrestling. It's every Saturday at 11 on Sports Radio 1010 The, the team. team. Big win for Agent Steele. He's still your IPW Heavyweight Champion, but he's not done by a long shot with Pat McGroin. Pat McGroin and Agent Steele, like I said earlier, there's a lot of history with these two individuals. That match was absolutely incredible. You gotta be at the WrestlePlex Live, just like tomorrow night, August 17th, to see the action right there in person. And what you see here on TV is only a recap of the action. You gotta go to IPW-Hardcore.com or HighSpots.com and purchase the live shows right there on those great sites. I tell you what, Ron Nimi, great, great matches. Jed Jaguar vs. Shark Boy, you can find a copy of that there. All kinds of matches. But coming up right now, two of the top contenders for any belt here in IPW, one of them the television champion, as Rod Steele defends against your boy, Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar, one of the founding members of 911 Incorporated, gets his rightful shot at the IPW television title. Rod Steele, you got your hands full, brother. Let's go to that match, guys, right now. All right, fans, we promised you championship night here in IPW, and there is your challenger for the television title. He's a crazy cat, and he's vile and filthy, Jet Jaguar. The filthy swine Jet Jaguar, a member of 911 Incorporated. Unfortunately, I was injured at the hand of the Strong Brothers earlier that night. Don't cut me off. Don't you cut me off when the TV champion, Rod Steele, the master of the chickenest legs of chicken legs in IPW. The what? The chickenest legs of chicken legs. I think you just made that up. I just said a mouthful. All right, now you see Jet Jaguar fresh off a match with Shark Boy not too long ago, which you all can check out at highspots.com. You can get a copy of that match. He's ready now to take on Rod Steele. This is the man that injured his leg just before his wedding a couple of months ago, and he cannot be 100%. He isn't 100%. He went against doctor's orders because he had the television title match. He had the belt right within his grasp, and he's going to take that shot. He's a member of 911 Incorporated. He is, no. he is one of the original members of 911 here in IPW. He was signed by WCW. They had no idea whatsoever to do with them. They were too busy pu pushing people like Glacier and Tag Cabot and David Arquette to know what to do with a talent like Jet Jaguar. It reminds me of the NWA TNA, who I even hate to give them a free plug, but that's the waste of talent you have. Not here in IPW. Jet Jaguar and Rod Steele for the IPW Television Championship. This is going to be a beautiful match. Well, you know those TNA, they say we have a lot of talent in Florida. They just can't seem to name any of them, and people wonder why things are going the way they are. But right now, those guys in the ring are showing you exactly the talent they have as my good friend Rod Steele taking it to your boy, Jet Jaguar. No, I don't like Rod Steele, and he's one of the most hated wrestlers on the roster of IPW. He's, great. he's hated, but the truth is the fans of IPW have even rallied behind him in the feud that he's had with MTV Tough Enough 2's Huck. They don't like Huck. They didn't like Kenny when he came in here, when they're cheering for somebody like Rod Steele, who's in the ring with one of the best of the oh, best, bulldog. Jet Jaguar, who hits a vicious bulldog on Rod Steele. He could finish him right now. That's Malenko training at its best, Aaron Royal. And there's Rod Steele, thrown out like a sack of potatoes. Right, speaking of Malenko trained students, the one that trained with Jet Jaguar, Tony Mamaluke, he'll be here tomorrow night, that's Saturday, August the 17th, at the Florida WrestlePlex. Fans, be sure to get your tickets. It's 727. Uh, I'm screwing up all the phones. 727. 526-6778. That's why we lost Sable Body's Temporary's corporate office as a sponsor, because you couldn't remember their number. You see Jet Jaguar and Rod Steele with a shot from the Eagle's Nest. They don't care if the place is packed. They're going to take it right into the people's laps. They're going to say, look, we're wrestling right in front of you. I hope you're enjoying your popcorn with salt on top of it. From concession board. Absolutely. And Star Stevens trying to get everything back in the ring. He says, that ain't no mud pit. I don't know what I'm doing over there. That's exactly what he said, too, Aaron. I Scary, heard him after the it? match. But the way he said it was, that ain't no mud pit, Rod Steele. Get back in the ring now. And Jet oh. Jaguar, oh, my God, a backdrop right onto the concrete floor. I tell you what, Rod Steele was trying a pile driver on the outside, Jerry Lawler style, but to no avail as Jet Jaguar flips him over. And now he's choking him in the chair, maybe even that same chair that he tried to take out his knee with. Jet Jaguar doesn't care what he's got to do to finish the career of Rod Steele. Yes, he wants that title, but revenge is on his mind. He remembers what Rod Steele 
Dunn trying to end his career. Chet Jaguar is here with a vengeance. He's back in IPW and he's got his target set on Mr. Rod Steele. Dude, I was testing you again, Ron Neeme. He didn't take out his knee with a chair. He took it out with the big door. I bet Jet Jaguar will be happy to know you know so much about his injury. I'm too excited about the match, Aaron, to be going over all the stupid garbage you're talking about. I'm usually oh, in the OC. Nice single he leg goes right out. to leg. He goes to work on that leg. You hit the point right on the head. If he could take out a wheel, Jet Jaguar, yes, he is a man that could probably hop around on one leg and kick the ass of most guys in this business. Rod Steele, I don't see it happening with only one good leg. Jet Jaguar, watch for him to lock on that clod anytime. That's his most dangerous maneuver. He's been working on some other vicious moves. We've seen Natali unleash the heart punch in IPW. It's old school here at the WrestlePlex. Okay, but Natali also told me pretty soon he's going to bring back the Bino Driver 98, and I tell you, that is an exciting finish. That is an exciting finish. In other circles, it's known as a schoolboy, I understand. That's true. Okay. Oh, nice chair shot right to the back of Jet Jaguar. And I tell you, this may not be a hardcore match, but there's hardcore elements in every single match here in IPW. We don't have to have the barbed wire or the blood or the guts to show everybody that everything about IPW is just that. Hardcore. It doesn't matter if you have the weapons. I don't care if they're in there with a loaf of Roman meal bread. They'd find a way to use it. They'd find a way to injure you with it. They would grind it into your eyes with or with the butter covering. It doesn't matter. But when it comes to Rod Steele, he's vicious. Sure, he portrays himself as a pretty boy. Sure, he comes out here talking all kinds of garbage about taking care of the ladies of IPW and all the rats that we got hanging on. Thanks. I really like that part of IPW, by the way, Aaron. I like rats. I tell you, when you talk about Rod Steele, the fans trying to cheer for Rod Steele, the truth of the matter is, this guy is a constant heel. He doesn't like anybody. I like him just fine. He probably can't stand me. This guy is the ultimate heel in IPW, and he, quite frankly, won't let the fans cheer for him. And what in the world was that? It looked like he hit him into a twisting sit out driving the back of Jet's head into the mat thing. And what the hell did the production guy just spray? I can barely breathe. Is that Raider off, or what is it? I don't know. I think that's a trailer park cologne of some sort. I tell you what, Ron Nimi. <laughs> Audi toilet. Yes, exactly. What's happened is Rod Steele was on the right track. He came through the WrestlePlex. He's a former IPW Tag Team Champion, current IPW Television Champion. He took one trip up to NWA Wildside, walked out the locker room for 10 seconds, comes back and there's Bill Barons in the process of trying to sniff his underwear, and he's never been the same. Bill Barons, this isn't Jimmy Rave. This is Rod Steele. There's no mistaking those two guys in anybody else's circle, let me tell you. But Rod Steele, as I knew he would, gets the shoulder up. He's not going down that easy. A superplex off the top rope would be enough to finish off most competitors. Jet Jaguar absolutely levels Rod Steele and gets hit with the wicked sky high. That's got to be a Miami Slam. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of his finisher. I don't pay attention. Actually, I don't, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't like the guy, but he's got Jet Jaguar 1-2, and he kicks out of it. Nobody kicks out of that, Ron Nemi. I'll give Jet Jaguar a lot of credit for that. Star Stevens got to be absolutely blown up. Just watching these competitors, just trying to hang in there, just realizing that he smoked the water bong five minutes before this match is unparalleled in this business, Aaron. I tell you what, and speaking of Star Stevens being in there, gentleman Jim Bragg wanting to know why Star Stevens got the main event once again, even though he was the ref for the heavyweight title match. I tell you, Jim Bragg, he's getting a little crazy lately, and he says he's going to take it out on guys like Star Stevens and the wrestler, Richie Rich. Richie Rich, Star Stevens, I'm not going to waste my time. We bring in color technical analysis every single week. Now this week we brought in Roderick Strong, one half of the IPW Tag Team Champions. I don't like this guy, but the truth is he'd like to get a shot at this IPW television title. And you tell me, Roderick, is this how you like to see a wrestling match? Yes. Thanks for those comments, Roderick Strong. I tell you, Roderick Strong, you're kissing up to him after the whipping he laid on you recently. But well, that's another story for another time and place. The truth of the matter, like everybody knows, one half of the best brother combination here in IPW, the ego, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong and Cedric Strong claim to be the best brother tag team in the business. But we don't have time to talk about that. Was that was that what I think it was? The Polish hammer into the chest of Rod Steele by was the Zegler? Irish hammer. The Irish hammer. Is that what Jet Jaguar is calling it? He is now. And he hits Rod Steele with the perfectly executed uh, fisherman I suplex. I have to admit, I thought that was it, Ron Nimi. I thought you were going to have gold back in 911 Incorporated. Back! We have the Shane Brothers, the NWA Florida Tag Team Champions. IPW Gold, excuse me. Gold's gold. IPW is the most prestigious. Oh, oh my God. Look at Jet Jaguar unleashing a new move on Rod Steele. I don't even know what to call it, so I'm not even going to waste my time. That's the Jaguar Express. Oh, the Jaguar Express. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha. 
All right, here we go. He's going to throw Rod Steele off the ropes here. No, there he goes. He reversed it. There you go, Rod. Oh, the sleeper. So we've seen the Polish hammer. We've seen the sleeper hold. I swear to God, if he breaks out the abdominal stretch, I'm going to moonwalk right out of this room, Aaron. <laughs> All right, Rod, I got to give you that one. That's bro. Oh, Jed Jaguar reverses the suplex, and he lays on top. Oh, but the referee gets pulled. Who is that? That's not Don Juan DeSanto. That's Pete Cannon. Pete Cannon, one half of the dancing DeSanto brothers sent out. And is he making out with Star Stevens? I don't know what the hell he's doing. He looks like he's accosting him. It looks like he's taking Star Stevens, pulling his hair, and Jed Jaguar trying and not to pay attention. Capone. Oh, Frankie Capone levels Jet Jaguar. Then he takes out the TV champion. What the hell is he doing? Frankie Capone sticking his nose in the business of 911. <laughs> by any means, but still, your television champion here in IPW, Rod Steele, and I quote, IPW, not Combat Zone. What is Zandig in town? <laughs> you know, I'll do what I can to make a buck. You pay me what they're paying me, I'll wear an Aaron Royal shirt. But the truth is, back to matter That'd be over. Frankie Capone, he knows he's got a tour of the World Wrestling Council in Puerto Rico coming up, so he picks his spots. I'll give him credit where credit's due. Frankie Capone is a shrewd individual. He jumps Jet Jaguar, knowing Jet Jaguar can't get revenge. He knows the hardcore giant Ron Nini wasn't at ringside. He's up in Puerto Rico trying to make a name for himself. You come back from the island, you get back to the WrestlePlex, Jet Jaguar is going to destroy you, Capone. Hey, with Frankie Capone doing exactly what you have to do to get what you want in IPW taking matters into his own hands, but he'll have hell to pay from Jet Jaguar and the Miami Pound Machine. <laughs> 